Welcome to another episode on our channel. Yesterday was kind of a fast, creative day because we had recorded the unboxing of a Wolverine, the Wolverine, the 1973 version, and uh, that recording was all messed up. So we had to come up with some real quick things to try to video because my week is going to be very busy this week. So we showed you a dolly, an antique dolly the other day. I decided after we went to Michael's to look at some things, there was a, uh, in kind of one of the bins, there was some discarded items like a uh, top of boxes that didn't have the matching bottom piece. I found one of these pieces for under a dollar and I said, mine. <laughs> My husband stained it, and the stain is beautiful. Uh, like with the antique dolly, cut some uh, some dowels in the size of tires, painted them black, used some metal pieces that kind of look like gears. So I, I used one of these thin metal pieces to super glue onto the wooden piece. I put on top of that another gear looking thing and super glued that in place and then put a silver thing on it. I don't think this is the right piece of silver, but you get the idea. And that's how the tires came together. So it looks pretty unique and it's a low to the ground kind of coffee table. So what to put on it, that was the big thing and decided to, to, to put some things on it for decoration. So I'll show you right now what we did. A cat, <laughs> always wanted to do that. You know how people go, boom, something happens. I decided to do it my way anyway. <laughs> and I'm not gonna overdo it because once you see it once, that's, that's all I need anyway. Um, I had some uh, catnip that was I purchased way back when, and my cats don't seem to pay any attention to it, but uh, they're like in a tea bag type of thing. So I decided to take one of those and kind of make it into a pillow. And so I'm going to use this uh, piece I used on the dolly the other day, it's a corner piece that joins two pieces of wood together. I'm going to use this as backing. I'm going to cat over a little bit with the pillow here. Perfect. I love it. Okay. And, and then at Michael's, you can get these like uh, glass flasks. And they're like $5 or less. You can get multiple ones for that amount. This one has little tiny metal pieces, tinier than like this in here. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a bunch of them in there. And then this one had antique cards. I thought that was cool. Maybe you can see it better this way. Anyway, it has a cork on it everything else. And then there's even fancier ones. I put dillweed in here to mimic catnip. Catnip. <laughs> Same thing. Cat. This is really catnip. I ran out of catnip, so I had to use dillweed. Look up. I think it looks absolutely adorable. So um, this reminds me having glass on a coffee table reminds me of a viral video of a gal. Her accent is clearly French. I, I have a, a good friend from France and the accent is just like hers. Um, and she uh, she is speaking English. She says, no, 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 no. Because the cat is going for a cup, a, a glass cup on the end of the coffee table, like it's paws reaching towards it. And she says, no, 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 no. 
You can't see her. She's in the background. She's probably sitting on a sofa behind the the coffee table. Anyway, it's reaching towards it. And then it looks, it stops, it looks at her, and then just keeps kind of moving. And she's, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then it, it just keeps looking at her and then knocks it out. She she actually starts laughing because it's just so funny. I'll put that in the uh, description so you can see it. So anyway, it's it's hilarious. When I first saw it, I just died laughing. Um, I hope you get a chuckle out of it yourself. But I thought this would be good for a, a cat with some articles on it. This pillow thing was just a last second thing, but I think it looks perfect with the cat. And uh, it's Supposedly, a, I think it's a pretend tea bag. I don't actually see myself making catnip tea. I don't even know if you can do such a thing, but uh, I'll look it up and tell you in the description. So we'll pause now and get it on a turn tray so you can see it from different angles. So there's really not that much to see. You, you've you seen all the items separately. But it is, I think, rather cool. Our last thing to do is get one close-up of it. I really love ragdoll, so when I saw this cat, I had to have it. I love Persians as well. It's a very beautiful cat. You can see the design and the tires will just kind of go side to side so you can see a little bit more. Here you can see uh, some of the metal pieces that were used. They're kind of steampunk looking like gears. And and there's the catnip. <laughs> Didn't have enough, so I used dill in this one. But if we go this way, you can see some antique cards in this bottle here. And I love this tea bag with this wonderful cat on it. And it says, time for catnip kit. Short for kitten, T. There we go. All right. Here's one last look at our low to the ground coffee table with a cat owning the table like they typically do. A cat pill in the background, some glass flasks in the background as well. I hope you've liked what you've seen. If you have, consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. In the meantime, everyone, please have a great day.